Do you ever have just one of those mind-blown moments? Man, I just had one. Hey, good morning everybody. So, it's about 7.30 in the morning and I'm ready for my first cup of coffee and I'm going to make it, we're going to do it totally different today than what we've done for basically forever for me. Um, <clears throat> I was at the store the other day stocking up with some groceries and I popped over into the local uh, Goodwill and uh, I'm always in there looking for like uh, storage containers for dry goods uh, to see what they have that'll fit in the uh, in the upper cabinets because I normally use glass jars but I figure glass jars in a uh, in a school bus moving vehicle where there's a chance the cabinets could 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 come open and things come out but just less things to break so I've been looking for some of those uh, little plastic uh, dry dry goods containers but um they had something over there that i was aware of it but i had never really uh given it much thought um it was an electric uh coffee kettle or tea kettle so basically you fill it full of water and plug it in and it's supposed to boil water fairly quickly and i i know they work because my mother has one and i, I just never had thought about it because i've always said that anything to do with uh induction doesn't mix well with solar because to make induction heat which is like your electric stove tops is a, just a dead short and it's not very forgiving with solar but i thought well let's wonder how much uh water is used but long story short we took it took it up to the counter and i had the girl plug it in for me to see if it even worked because you know it is at goodwill it didn't work so i just just forgot about it and come on back home well, the gears kept grinding because I'm thinking it would be really nice to heat up hot water, you know, um, even if you run out of, out of uh, propane uh, without having to go out and make, make a campfire if, if the weather's bad, you know, uh, if it's late at night and, you you know, the sun's already down, you want to make a shower, you know, uh, trying to heat up, heat up hot water without making a fire or without propane, there's not too many other options, so. But it'd be like, kind of nice to have one of those electric kettles to heat up some water. So I started looking, and the reviews aren't bad, but but they're pretty consistent. Is they they stop working after a while, and uh, and they're kind of expensive for anything that heats up more than more than a half of a liter of water. So I, I got to thinking, and I thought, you know, an induction cooktop, just one of the uh, hot plates. If you used one of those, then pretty much every kettle you own could be an electric kettle if it works. So, again, back looking online and uh, ended up, couldn't find a single burner um, local. And I, and I wanted to go local because if it didn't work, I could just put it back in the box and take it back. So anyway, the local Walmart carries one of these guys. And uh, this is a two burner. Uh, induction cooktop it's rated at, at 1800 watts so um, yeah let's uh, let's try this out give me a second to set this up okay here she is she's got power I've got it run right through the around the corner there it's just plugged into the into the top of the power inverter and uh, yeah so anyway I don't think we'll need the big one this morning let's turn this small one all the way on now it's like 730 in the morning and the sun's not really come out yet so 
if you're familiar with solar, then this is the this is the time of the day when your power is normally the lowest. So I've run everything's run overnight on the batteries without any charge coming in. So this is this is the lowest point of charge for the day. And uh, there's a little battery indicator off the power inverter. It'll go. To, there'll be an extra. There'll be an extra little bar there that'll turn green when the, once the sun comes out and starts charging everything. But we're still doing okay. Our, our overnight power draws fairly minimal. You can hear it popping and cracking. It's uh, it's already warming up. the coffee well that's done and we're still at the same state of charge, which I didn't expect it to change too much. So let's turn this guy off. And let's have us a cup of coffee. Alrighty, so there is a cup of coffee. Well, you guys can't see it, but I've got a got a Newfoundland deciding to take a nap right in front of me so we'll let sleeping dogs lie and have some coffee oh my goodness that's good so apparently I was wrong and you can use an induction cooktop with off-grid solar um, but with that being said, I have 1200 watts of panels, which obviously has nothing to do with using the stove when the sun's not up yet. So I have a, my battery bank is uh, 500 amp hours. So you can, somebody else that's better with math can do the math on that. But, um, I never really try to crunch numbers too much. I just figure if it works, it works. But I do know I was able to run the stove with both burners on high and a box fan and an oscillating fan and the power inverter never had an issue with it. Uh, and it's a 2000 watt inverter. I think it's a 4000 watt peak. So I don't know if it was going over that 2000 uh, and going into the surge mode or not. But uh, the cook plate is supposed to be 1800 watts. And I'm going to assume it's both burners on high. I can't imagine it's uh, it's definitely not pulling 1800 watts now I do know that it, it does pull more power than the air conditioner does um, which kind of makes sense since it's a dead short to make to make heat so um, air conditioner uh, have I mentioned that we have air conditioning in the bus again there was an enormous rooftop unit right uh, right above you guys and uh, it was just just massive I couldn't even run it on a on on the uh, small Harbor Freight inverter generator. Uh, it took like a large 5,000 watt generator to run the thing. I think it was a 
12 or 18,000 BTU carrier. You could literally just hang meat inside this, this little bus when it was running. So anyway, that's gone. We replaced that with a Max Air fan. I love that. But the, the heat doesn't bother me or the dog so much, but it's the humidity. When the humidity comes in, it just gets kind of unbearable sometimes. So right before a rainstorm. So anyway, uh, took out one of the back windows of the, uh, of the, uh, bus there. Um, and I did it on the, basically the driver's side because the back door swings towards the passenger side and I didn't want to be open up that back door and get away from me and come around and crash into the, uh, into the air conditioner and uh, end up breaking the glass out of the door. So there's a, uh, 5,000 BTU air conditioner mounted up just above the bed in the back of the bus and I'll, I'll insert a little clip of that thing into here so you can see see that but uh, it's uh, got a little 12 volt oscillating fan that's mounted above it and it does a pretty good job of dispersing the air throughout the bus so uh, it'll actually keep it fairly cool and again when this it's one of the things that you're really only going to run it'll run when the sun's down but only on the batteries and it's it'll it would deplete the batteries within a couple hours i'm sure so um it's best to uh when the sun's out and i've got 1200 watts of solar panels bringing in power it'll just pretty well run indefinitely and i still stay at a full charge so um i don't run it very often though because like i said we haven't had air conditioning for well a long time i mean i had a little little window unit matter of fact it's the same the same 5000 uh, btu unit was in the cabin uh, and we would fire it up on an extremely hot day just to cool the cabin off a little bit and then, then shut it down. I can't, I, I can't have it on at night because I, you know, I just end up getting too cold and I'm used to the hot weather. So, so anyway, things that you could run uh, on solar that were kind of unexpected. So um, if you guys want, I can do an in-depth in-depth video on the air conditioner and give you a walkthrough on that. I'm still in the uh, still in the stages of getting it all prettied up and everything, and uh, uh, it's in there and it's working. I still have to finish finish sealing it and adjusting everything. But uh, yeah, let me know if you want to see a video on, on the air conditioner, and uh, we'll we'll get one of those up on there. So anyway, I'm gonna have my coffee. and get my morning started i thought i would just share it, share it with you guys but i will show you the the absolute best part of this stove let me uh let me get off off the couch and out from around the dog here all right let me unplug this from the power inverter so It's a little bit warm, but not bad. But when this is done, you can just un unplug this thing, and it will literally just just drop down, drop down under the cabinet. Out of sight, out of mind. So, there you have it. <laughs>